On this episode of Soldier Tech Battlefield, I have a special guest today, Shannon from Hack5 and Threat Ride. We're going to be talking about the new Ubuntu Phone OS. Let's go ahead and start the show. Hey, what's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of Soldier Tech Battlefield, where we debate and talk about the latest products in tech. I have a special guest here, Shannon from Hack5, and the new show here on Tech Feed Threat Wire. What do we talk about the Ubuntu Phone OS? Now, Shannon, this new OS is definitely very anticipated. I'm looking forward to it. I know you are. Now, what are some of the new features that this OS is going to be bringing to the plate that you're really excited for? Okay, so it has a whole bunch of features packed into this little phone, and this is the Ubuntu OS, basically just ported onto Android cell phones. So they're not actually going to be selling any kind of hardware. This is specifically the operating system, and this is exactly what geeks have been looking for. It has lots of features. It's definitely going to be something that I'm looking forward to. Right, and you, and you did mention that, yeah, this is just an OS that users will be able to download and import to compatible cell phones. Um, with the images, and I think that the OS itself, just, just playing around with it, is really all touch-based. Uh, they really don't use any buttons besides the volume buttons and, and the power buttons, and some of the gestures to be able to slide over from the left-hand side and pull up your app launcher and things like that. But what are your thoughts about the whole gesture system inside of it? They definitely worked in some really, really good features as far as the gestures go. The operating system is very intuitive and it's really, really easy to use even if you've never used Ubuntu before. When I was looking at the Nexus 4 that they had ported it onto at CES, I found that they did have the side gesture so you can move over the, uh, the dock display on the side just like in the normal Ubuntu operating system for a desktop. And it was very, very fast. I noticed that when they were pulling up different applications, when they were browsing and searching for different movies and whatnot that were saved on the phone, it had no problem pulling anything up. So I think this is going to be a really, really simple interface for new people that are using it, as well as a very fast one for hardcore hackers and geeks like me. Right, I think that's a, a really good positive to think about it because a lot of people, you know, may be kind of afraid of Linux when they hear the word Linux. They may think it may be complicated and it may not be user friendly. But Ubuntu is, you know, one of the most popular versions, um, you know, of Linux out there. And I think with this phone version, it looks to be very, again, like you said, simple and intuitive. Uh, but I think just some of the features, just from sliding from the top, depending on where you slide, you can access the volume or access your messages and things like that. I think it's just it was very uh, smartly made, so I'm really excited for it. But now, you, like you said, you are in the hacking community, so a lot of hackers and, and really the hardcore for geeks are really looking forward to this. Um, now, is there one thing that really stands out from it, from Android, that may that may kind of sway you to want to use this OS over anything else? Oh, definitely. Well, the fact that it can be used easily with a desktop. See, the cool thing about the Ubuntu phone is that if you have some kind of dock that you can plug this phone into with a monitor, it will port you over to the normal Linux desktop that you've used for several years. So this is going to be really handy for hackers, for IT people who need a normal desktop mode, and it'll just use the nice quad core that's inside of your cell phone to access all your data. And that's also going to be awesome for uh, applications. So developers of applications will be able to port over their existing apps that they already have, you know, ready to go over to this phone. It should be, everything should be working very easily there. Plus, uh, they're really going to be working hard with the web applications as well, with HTML5 and things like that to kind of make things a little bit smoother. Now, yes. um, I am thinking that this is going to be released here in, a, in probably any day now, right? Yeah, when I was at CES, um, the guy that I talked to said it should be released in a couple of weeks for Nexus 4 specifically. Other cell phones will take a little bit longer because they have to make a different image of the Ubuntu for every single Android phone that's on the market. So those will take a while, and it, since it is a new platform for developers to use for cell phones, I'm assuming it's going to take several months for all the different phones. But yes, Nexus 4 should be expected any day now. But the good thing about the Linux is that the community will definitely be helping push this along. And uh, once this finally gets out to the users and the developers more and more, we'll probably see more versions uh, or more cell phones be able to run this new Ubuntu OS. So I'm really excited for it. I can't wait for it. You sound like you're excited for it. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. I'd like to thank Shannon for coming out here and being my special guest. And you can catch her here on the new show, Threatwire, here on the Tech Feed channel. Awesome show with Darren from Hack5 as well. But anyway, guys, stay tuned for next week. We'll have another episode of Soldiers Tech Battlefield. I will see you guys then, and I will catch you later. Peace.